This is the pre-algebra fractions video. And our first problem says to put the following fractions in increasing order. And we have a set of five fractions. Now one of the great things about math is that you can work different problems in sometimes multiple ways. So throughout this video series, you're going to find that I'm just showing you one particular way that you may be able to solve a problem. As long as you come up with the final answer that's correct, that's all you need to be able to do for the ACT math. For this particular problem, there are many different ways that you can solve it, but the first thing that I saw when I looked at the problem is when I looked at the denominators of each of these fractions, I saw that I thought it would be easy to find a common denominator for each of these. If I can get the common denominator and put all of those in terms of that common denominator, then I can compare them easily. So when I look at 2, 8, 4, and 16, I know that 16 is the common denominator of those. So using 16 as a common denominator, I was able to put each of these fractions in terms of 16 as a common denominator. So for example, with 1 half, we know that we can make 16 the, the denominator, and to do that, we'll say 2 goes into 16 8 times, and 8 times 1 is 8. That gives us 8 sixteenths. I did that for each of the other four. You know, 5 sixteenths was already in that form, so we didn't have to do any manipulation there. But then I need to look at the problem, and it asks to put the fractions in increasing order. That means smallest to greatest. So I'm going to look for the fraction that has the smallest numerator, and that would be that 4 sixteenths or 1 fourth. So we can put each one of those fractions in this order from smallest to largest, the 1 fourth, all the way up to the 7 eighths, and I did that by com using the common denominator. Now let's look at the next problem. When 6 and 3 fourths is written as an improper fraction in lowest terms, what is the numerator? Okay, first of all, let's remind ourselves of what an improper fraction is, and that is when the numerator is greater than the, the denominator. The number on top is greater than the number on bottom. Now, 6 and 3 fourths, which is what we're looking at first, is a mixed number. It has a whole number and a fraction to it, but we just want a fraction number, an improper fraction number. So to do that, we're going to take the 4 in the denominator, and we say 4 times 6 is 24, plus 3 gives us 27 over 4, that denominator. So remember, the problem asked, what is the numerator? So our answer is 27. Here's the test yourself problem. Pause here and see what answer you get. You should have gotten E, 24. Let's take a look at it. What is the least common denominator for adding 1 sixth, 3 eighths, and 5 twelfths? So we want to take these three numbers and we're going to have to find a common, the least common denominator so we can add them up. So to start out with, let's take the 1 sixth and we have the 6 in the denominator and let's just write down a few of the multiples of 6. We get 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. Maybe we can stop there. We'll see if that's enough. Now we'll look at the 8 of 3 eighths, and we write down 8, 16, 24. We're just writing out the multiples, and we see that 24 is also in 6. We have a multiple there. Well, now let's look at 12 from the 5 twelfths, and we have 12. Oh, and there's 24 again. So our least common denominator is 24.